this is Johannes. And you are watching Board Gaming Rambling. And today we are finally continuing on our top 50 games of all time. It's going to be amazing. It feels like a long time since we actually recorded the video. Yeah. Because it's been like a week and a half now where we have only done live streams. And for those of you who haven't seen those and you'll be like, where is the top 50? People have been starting commenting, where is the yeah. top 50? <laughs> it's here. It's really now. You're watching it now. And we decided to do like it because life changed for a lot of people this week including us so we decided to do something else and we tried to do live streams and that was fun it was really fun that is something that we will continue to do yes so like this is not going to be an update video but just quickly the plan now is to do live streams on fridays on the, in the near future we will see how we change that up someday when i will get back to doing magic gigs because those might be on friday but for the next 16 years where there's no magic gigs, then I will do this on Fridays. Yes. So if this is the first time you are here on the channel, if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button. It do makes it. us happy and yeah. it makes a number go up, which is a good thing. Numbers, not all numbers that go up are good, but this number is a good number. This is basically points for us. <coughs> it is. We it's get a point. YouTube points. Experience points every yes. time you click that. And also, if you want to see all the videos that we do, click the bell button that gets notifications turned on for our videos. Also, if you somehow have dollars lying around <laughs> on the internet, you can go over to patreon.com. If you enjoy what we do, you can check out our Patreon down in the subscription or down in the description, not the subscription, in the description. Right now, that is kind of my only income because all my magic gigs have been cancelled because of you know what. So um, if you have some dollars lying around, that would be helpful. But enough with that. Let's talk about some games. Yeah, let's get to the good stuff. That's the good stuff. That's the, all the bad stuff. All gone. the bad stuff. So these the are the stuff. top 20 to 11. Yeah. We are getting to the top. This is like the 20 best games there are for us. For yeah, us. so the top 20. This is the top 20. This is the thing that most people are looking forward to. Like the top 50 is mostly for really especially interested people. Yeah. So these are for the like, what are the actual top games? Like yeah. next year we're going to do a top 1000 games of all time with uh, 10 cool. games in each video. So that's I gonna haven't be... even played a thousand games. I think you have. You think so? Yes, I think so. Yeah. I'll, but enough I'll... about that. Let's talk about the game. So I who should begin? at least played 20 50. games. You have played yeah, 50. 50. <laughs> yeah. Or else there's going to be repeats of the same ones you already did. Oh, that would so be bad. So who should begin? Uh, it's the same for me. So let's do rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Boom. You begin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did um, that. I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, my number 20 is uh, new to the list. New to the list. You can actually find it in a very recent video we did. It's a Cooper Island. Oh yeah, that's very recent. Yeah. That's like the that's last video the last that we did. Video. So if you want to see that game, play it. Go and check out that live stream that we did of Cooper Island, a brain-burning game. Yeah, so it's a brain-burning worker placement game. So tight mm. in the actions that you get to do and you're on this island and getting resources and building things. Trying to build things. Yeah, a great game, a zero playthrough. And also it's uh, in the top... 10 from 2019 as yeah, well. Yeah, and I already had it on my top 50, right? And we did a... I think I have it on my top 50, didn't I? Yeah, I think so. I can't remember my own I top I don't remember. 50. It's been so long since we did this, but it's I'm been, pretty it should sure be here. you've done Cooper Island already. Let's see. Yeah, it was my number 47. Yeah. So, a little higher on my list, mm -hmm. number 20. Okay. So, let's go to my number 20, mm -hmm. which is a game with a year in the title. Oh, uh, I think I know what it is, but say it. It's also a city name. Say it. Bruxelles 1893. That's a really this good game. This is an amazing game. It has kind of all of the mechanisms in the world. So I'm looking at you, Luke. You won't like it because there are more than two mechanisms. <laughs> but it's a, a very, very good game. Uh, it has like... When I, I played this game the first time, where did I know? No. No. I no, was, no, no. I was there. You were there. Because we instantly decided Order to... Order the game. Yeah. yeah like I remember that. One round into the game, we were like, oh, this is game is OOP. And we found it on board game, like, really cheap. And I was like, yay. But the thing about this game that's really interesting, it has had all of these layers of mechanisms. And when our friend taught us the rules, I was like, this is never going to work. Because you have this mechanism. Oh, 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 I forgot to say. Then you have this and you have some bidding. And you have a real majority. And you have this and you have that. And you have all of these things working together in a beautiful, beautiful way. Nice. So what you're doing in this game is kind of a worker placement game where you bid for actions. Because when you do the actions, with you, when you bid for them, then you also basically bid for getting bonus cards in that row. And you... 
trying to get paintings, to sell the paintings, to build buildings. It's a very, very pure Euro game, but it looks beautiful. I think the artwork there is amazing, very different. And this is a game that you should really try to get a hold of. It's an amazing game. I I'm pretty sure it's out of print, but you should be able to find a copy over on Board Game Geek on the marketplace there. It is a great, great game, like one of my favorites. As yeah. soon as I would have said yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of my favorite games. Because it's, it is number 20. It's just amazing how well these all these mm -hmm. mechanisms work together and just feel so balanced. I'm I'm thinking about it and I'm getting kind of chills. Yeah, I just want to play this uh, game. Yeah, yes. I really want to play it again. It's, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Have you had it on the top 50 yet? Not yet. <gasps> so it might be here. Okay, so your number 19 then. Yes, my number 19 is uh, Nippon. It was in my number... It was number 30 last time. Uh -huh. So it's up to a few spaces. Rising on the ranks. It's just a super solid game. Mm -hmm. It's super interesting. It's like it's a work, worker selection game. Yeah, like, like a worker removing. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. So you're, you have these color workers in the column of these different actions mm -hmm. and you want to take as few different colors as possible. Mm -hmm. So you kind of want to, oh, I want to do that action, but then I have to take a new color and I have to pay for that dude then. So maybe I should change up my plans. Mm -hmm. And that is really interesting. And that is basically one of my favorite things about this game is. Yeah, like the, the game is, I like the, I like the tightness of the uh, choices. So you produce things, basically you build, uh, um, not fabrics, you build uh, factories. factories. And you then produce different resources in factories. So, and you basically choose to sell them uh, locally or to sell them out of the country, out of Japan. And it's really interesting that kind of a real majority, I really enjoy that. Mm. But like everything in this game just works. I'm not really good at it. It's like parts of the game I've never touched because like, oh, no idea what and I'm building gonna do. your own scoring, that is also, that is also super cool. That is my favorite thing about the game, basically. Cool. Like, I love that work removing and you're trying to look at what the other colors the other players are taking and yes. not taking the same ones to try to be able to, ah, oh, I want to only take these two colors, but then, ah, oh, I will need to do that action, but that's gonna cost me three more dollars. And you cannot... And money is tight. And every time you, like, reset, which is basically like you consolidate, I think it's called, you reset your dudes and you get new income you have to throw away all the money and all the coal you had so you mm. cannot keep it from turn to turn or from round to round that is and it's a cool. really interesting way like the game moves ahead depending on which uh, actions get taken and then every time you reset you might get one of those uh, multiplier tiles make your own scoring it's just like so much stuff here that is amazing it's so good anything you want to add no, it was a good just, game sorry for taking yeah. it over no 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 it's just like it so much better it's than it's an I would amazing have done. game so <laughs> my number 19 is a game that was my number 30 last oh, time so the uh, wait the same what's your Nippon number? was also my number 30 dun, dun, well, dun. it's Nippon no it's not <laughs> <laughs> it is actually a game that you just had on the channel uh, the most popular live stream we did last week it's Grand Austria Hotel cool this is another one of those. This is like an evergreen game for me. Yeah. This is a game I think, th this and Castle Burgundy is two of those like perfect two player games that will always be fun. It will always be great to play. It will, it was in the top 10 two player games. It, it, it's just like, it's an amazing game. Just go and watch the stream if you haven't seen the game. Uh, it's, it's, it's just great. Yeah, it's a super fun game and it's like solid every time we play it mm -hmm. and it's it's this perfect weight and it doesn't take that long time with two players. We really enjoy it too. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's a superb game. That's my number 19, Grand Austria Hotel. So, my number 18 is... A game. This is one of my, I don't know what to say, is guilty it one of your pleasures. No, this is... Yeah, it is <laughs> that as well. Uh, this was in my number 24th so spot. So, it's, it's guilty pleasures. Yeah, it's a guilty pleasure. So is it then Orleo stories? <laughs> that would be a horrible, uh, <laughs> a guilty, well, not pleasure. No, guilty guilt. Yeah, something. Okay. Um, but do you want to take a shot on one of my guilty pleasures? The one I, I've always enjoyed this game and I've always been super good at it. Is it Galaxy Trucker? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't think you should say like it's a guilty pleasure. It's a really fun it's game. It's a really fun game. So you're... You're building a spaceship from like sewer parts mm -hmm. that you're driving. Your mission is to drive this across the galaxy because you need this job because Super you're 
you're now unemployed due to virus and you need to do <laughs> this <laughs> instead. So it's horribly paid. Mm. And since you build this out of zero parts, you're, yeah, you get hit by meteors and robbed by pirates along the way. And then you're trying to like not die. die. Yeah. So uh, it's a super fun game. So it's like this real time building mm -hmm. in the beginning. And then when everybody has tried to build a decent spaceship, then you fly through the galaxy, which mm -hmm. basically is like drawing a bunch of cards yeah. and seeing how many meteors we're going to get hit by mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, uh, how many planets we can d get cargo from. Mm -hmm. And then you get to the finish line and you get better, Sometimes. bigger and bigger spaceships to build. So it's super <laughs> fun. It's a fun game. It's one of those games that I gonna be i would never i don't think i would ever kind of like suggest to play it anymore because it's it, i know it's fun but it's not going to be like it's not high enough for me to be able to say like oh let's play this and but it is very good i, I really enjoy it the the only problem with it because it's kind of like a light fun game but it's hard to teach to people because there's so many different parts that you have yeah. to remember so it's kind of like a complicated game even though it's kind of like a fun strange wacky crazy game mm. because there are like you have to you have to remember all of the different parts because you are doing the things in in real time mm. and that ends up being um not not good for new players the first time you play it yeah and it can take a long time when you play with a lot of players doesn't really add that much to the time because mm. you're doing stuff in real time yeah. and not everybody's going to get hit by meteors and stuff but uh, it it's basically you're traveling three times and it could take a while mm -hmm. especially the last round when the journey seems just endless forever yeah so that is your number 18 yeah which is then my number 18 which is gonna be quick it was my number 27 it is an almost crossover it's nippon oh that is close so it's almost crossover dance not enough that was, that was horrible it was a bad almost crossover dance so yeah. number your number 17 might be a game. My number 17 has like, I have fallen a bit. Yeah, we haven't played it in a while and I really want to play it though. Which I number think was, you... was it the number? Yeah, it was number 10 uh, last okay, time. Okay, wow. That, yeah, it's fallen a... seven places, so not, not, not a lot. No, but yeah, it got out of the top 10. It kind of, of feels, feels big, you know? I really want to play it again. Um, you've already talked about it, I think. It's sulking. So okay, this yeah. is a really clever, mm -hmm. uh, with the wheels that you put mm -hmm. your dudes on and it turns and you have to like wait till you get to the action that you want mm -hmm. and then take it off. So it's timing there, but I never seem to get it right. This is really hard. And then you have to feed your workers with mm -hmm. corn. You have to think of that also and also getting All points. Getting corn and points, I don't know how these two go together, um, but it's super fun and I really want to play it again. Yeah, I like, I, get the game. I already had, had it on my list. It's, yeah, I'm pretty it's, sure. It's a great game yeah, I had. Yeah. It's a really great game. So next up is my number 17, which is a new game to the list. It is a game about being a detective. Ah, uh, what could it be? I think it's Detective. It is! It's a game called what? Detective from Portal Games. A great game. Uh, we have the expansion, which we haven't really played yet. I really want to play We're it. We're deep into Gloomhaven now, so but maybe after that we need to get that done. After Tented Grill. Oh yeah, because we're going to do that review yes. later this month. Because of the patrons. It seems like they've chosen that. There's still some people who haven't voted, but it might be that. Uh, but yeah. Detective is a really great game. I enjoy it for the, the, the single cases. But the thing that makes it high for me is the campaign. Like the feeling we had, like this is a this is a pure story game, a deductive a deductive story game, like a deduction game where kind of like um, Sherlock Holmes and Chronicles of Crime and all of those kind of uh, great games. But this is my favorite of that kind of mm, genre. Yeah. And the reason is that kind of campaign is the overarching story feels like you are basically playing a great crime TV show. Yeah. It feels like you are a super detective even though you're sitting in your living room. We put out a flip over, we are writing, uh, putting out pictures of people and, and writing, connecting, connecting the and dots between them and saying like, oh, this might be this dead? guy. Question and, mark. <clears throat> and all of that really makes this game amazing. 
because the feeling we had, like if you watch the channel a bit, you know that we like Euro games and we like story games. And so this is like far from a Euro game as you can come. But the story here is super good. Some people didn't like some of the writing. It's just, I, I like it. It's kind of a tacky detective thing. But the story here and everything that happens and the things that ha happens inside me when you, when you have read all of this and you're looking around mm. and suddenly you're like, mighty, oh shit, sorry. This is like, <laughs> oh, this is because of that and that. And then you suddenly, you understand it. You feel Piecing like this. it together. And you get like goosebumps and the, it's the exact same feeling like a super great cliffhanger on a TV show or when somebody reveals like a twist in a book or in a TV show and you wouldn't be, or in a movie, you're going to be like, did that just happen? Uh, and that, that's just like basically the reason I love this game so much. And more stuff is coming from it for it this year. Uh, a scenario by Rob Davio, that's going to be interesting. Yeah. And this, the season one box which is going to be singular cases, but the game is, is super good, so I cannot wait for that. Yeah, I'm so excited for that. The detective is just so good. I want to play it. It, it. Yeah, yeah. I would love to re-experience the first, yeah. first, first game. Just, for first just time. do it. Because we can't, you yeah. should. Yeah. It's very good. You have to enjoy reading, deduction, yeah. and basically just like reading cards. I like it's the database. It's not for everyone, but... It's not for everyone. It's a pure story-driven deduction game. Yeah. And and I, I think it's cool, like the fluff text on the card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, you sit and wait for the analysis for two hours, then you eat a salad and... Yeah. You, you explain you eat a lot in yeah. this game. <laughs> you eat a lot. Eat a lot of things. Wait and eat. Yes. Uh, so my number 16, right? Uh -huh. uh, this has also fallen. Uh, 11 spots, I think? No. Fallen? So it was in top 10? It was in the top 10. Another top 10 has fallen. It was my number 7. I can't okay. do the math on that. It's numbers. Yes, that's right. Uh, so this is a game that is made Designed by Yuri Rosenberg. It's a game that is made. <laughs> yeah, it's a oh. feast for Odin. This is a great game. It's so many action spaces in this worker placement game. Um, Let me just stop this right here. Like this is just yeah. you cannot have this this low. This is yeah, just I like... can. I I I I know that you love it, but I just this isn't one of my. Favorite. It's pretty high. It's number sixteen. It's super high. But this, mm. will, this is not a top ten game for me. I rarely suggest to play it because and you don't need to. Because I want to play it all yeah. the time. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I, I'm willing to play it. But I just, yeah. I, 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 it, okay. The I, games I still like that you. I have it above, I can't push them down. I still like you. Thank you. A bit less, but I still like you. Thank you. So, so Fist it's Rodin, a great game. We didn't say a lot about it. It's a great work. There's so game. many action spaces. I think that's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> it's so many. My number 16 is a new game for the list. It is a big city that's called... A big game called Small City. <laughs> <laughs> so not a big city. No, I... I it's I, the opposite. Yeah, I spoiled it. I, I was going to say something clever, but people don't like it. So, a small <laughs> city. Uh, did you have it on your list? Yeah, I've already spoken about it. Yeah, it's a fantastic, yeah. super heavy game with a horrible mayor who's 31. Not, who doesn't like anybody. So go back and check that out if you haven't done so already. Great uh, game. If you haven't seen Alban it, Detective, Liari. not Detective. My brain is kind of mushy. Small city. <laughs> it's a big city game about a small city about a stupid mayor. It's a super good game with where you get pollution and your people die and you send tourists to other cities. And you're building a city. And you are, yeah, you are building a city, which which is kind that of like the, the point of the game. the basic thing that you're doing, but this not is the mayor. <laughs> First and foremost. But I really want to play again. This is like one of those. But it's, it's really heavy and it's big and long. And so it's one of those I look at and be like, oh, I want to play that. But it's so long and heavy and big. And <laughs> <Sorry>. small. <laughs> and small. Yeah, so that is small city. I'm going to stop now because my brain is shutting up. Oh, now I'm in the wrong list because I went back and checked something. <laughs> so 15. Uh, 15. Uh, this has risen. Uh, it was my number 29 mm -hmm. last time. And it's Madeira. 
Madeira, 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 yes. Something. So uh, this makes me sad because we were supposed to have the expansion in our hands right now. Yeah. Because today we were supposed to come back from Leria Khan. Yeah, but we are not. We're, not, we're, we're sitting here. at home. We've had tons We've of fun, had fun at home. Yeah, yeah. It would have been more fun to be playing games with, with more people. But yeah. Yep. Enough about that. Madeira, Madeira, Madeira is a great, great game. Yes. Could you explain it? Because it, it, it's stuff going on here. It is a, it's an action My selection. brain is starting with the pirates. And that is not a clever way to start. <laughs> Basically, it's kind of like a, a super light version of a dice drafting game. You draft, that dice, you draft like a set of dice. Yeah. And those are your actions for the turn. You can use those actions in different... It's kind of like a worker placement uh, game mm. with dice. But different actions. It's a one, two, and three dice. And if you use them in the... Uh, like if you use the one die in an area with a two, you have to pay for the difference with mm. bread. And you're basically doing different actions to uh, get workers out, to produce um, produce resources and spend the resources. And it's uh, it's just a fantastic game. Yeah. It's very heavy, very tight. You're aiming for these uh, end of, uh, end yeah, of the round scoring scorings. things yeah. that you're you kind of round. grab yourself. So uh -huh. uh, that is tied to the, the dice yes. that you're getting. So th true. that's really interesting. And also you don't want to... Have this you can take this pirate dice but then you get pirates yeah and the player with the most pirates at the end of the game is going to lose half their points something. yeah a lot yeah not half their points 16 but losing a lot. or something i cannot wait for the expansion because it's a great game and we back the expansion we want to get some more stuff for it so that it's going to be cool yeah another excuse for playing this awesome game so that's madeira oh you're looking at my list no i'm not my number 15 was my number 11. yeah so it's sunken is that, yes. is that a word yeah four, four spaces it's uh, it's eight of steam. I'm not gonna do anything. It's eight of steam. Oh, I was waiting for this quiz. Like, oh, okay, when you okay. Can you guess? Can you, can, you, can you guess the game? Eight of steam. It's eight of steam. That's what? a great guess. Eight of steam is a really good, not really. It's a game that's really punishing. Doesn't really make you happy. It makes you sad to play it. No, it doesn't make you super happy because it's a great game about trains. And building routes and picking up cubes and delivering them to other places and trying to be mean to other places so they don't get the stuff that you want to deliver to other places and then somebody will be like haha I'm building here so you cannot deliver it and you will be sad and angry and then you will roll some dice and sometimes it gets not good things on the dice and it will be bad yeah sometimes I, it it's was good. it and was my game. number 39 so you can also watch that video to get some more information about the game it's a great game and the it's new version is amazing there's a hundred thousand different maps for it so i want to play it more it's good it's about trains it's called age of steam yeah i think that's a great summary uh so 14 mm -hmm. uh, this was my number 35 last time so this has risen quite a, a bunch cool and that is because it's gotten an expansion an since, expansion since last time Could, Which? can you see my list oh uh, no no over there no no oh, they I can't don't know. right i don't know I am don't guessing. My list. I I don't think I know it, but you can say it. Great Western Trail. Yes. Yeah, you thought so. Yeah. 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 Uh, this was already good before, mm -hmm. but with the expansion, ooh, I really like this game. Yeah. I'm not good at the game, but it's still a good game. So you're, would you say the this is a worker play? No, this is an action selection. It's, it's a one-way street game. Yeah. Where you you do choose actions, but it depends on. Yeah, it's a You move street. with your dude. It's kind of like the same in like in Maracaibo, you move uh, different animal spaces and you can do actions where you land. Yeah, so you have this herd of cows that you want to have the best. But so you then... only need one different kind of cows because yeah. it's kind of like a strange, a world, strange world where like I have this herd of cows but you have two of the same cow. Then You're not a cow good cow by now. <laughs> I would just take it for free. <laughs> That's just how it works in this game. I would like to see that in the real life. You come there like... I see you have two of that. I can only pay for one, but I will take both of them. Yeah. Like, okay, it's okay. Yeah. And you want to ship the game. cows. Yeah, it's yeah. a great, great game. I like it. I want to play it again. Yeah, me too. Somebody suggested that we should stream it, so we might do that. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. I'm so bad at it, so this is going to be great. Then mm. you're ruining my streak. I'm my number streak now. 14. <laughs> well, yeah. One is not a streak. <laughs> one way winning streak. Yes. My number 14 is another new game. Uh, not a new game, but a new game for the list. It's an older game by Uwe Rosenberg called Le Havre. Cool. I've Did, already talked about yes, this. Yes, I think you have. It's a great little game that I would love to play again. I love the artwork. I love the style of this. I love everything about it. And it makes me really happy to play it 
One of those games 26. that I wanted to play for a long time, then finally played it and still really liked it. So I am happy with that. You can go back to 26, to Cinema's 26, and look at that to see what you see, hear more about it. But La Harp is a fantastic game. Yeah, so I obviously like it as well, since it's been on my top 50 already. Uh, so my number 13, right? Mm -hmm. This is going quick. This is a great game. <laughs> it's a great game by Stefan Felt. This is new to the list because when we made our last top 50, I haven't hadn't played it yet. And that is a shame. It's Bora Bora. Oh, yes. Yeah, because I didn't play that till like recently-ish. Did I have this already? Yeah, I think so. It's a great game. It's so tight. It's a worker placement, it's a worker placement dice, dice placement yeah. game. Yeah. yeah, I had it 22, so it was just at the end of the last video. Oh, yes, yeah, so you can go to the last video. Check but yeah, out. it's a fantastic game. Like you can you can briefly tell us what about it's about if you want to. Yeah, it's all tight. You're something. Uh, yeah, I, I give up. Go watch the last video. So basically, it's a dice dice worker placement dice yeah. placement game. You want to build buildings on a, a different areas of a board. You want to get the help of different women and men in the tribe that can help you out. You want to buy jewelry, and the thing that's really cool about the game is the kind of end of the round scoring, which so you need to do one of those every single round, which is kind of what you're building your whole strategy around. Yeah. And it's going to feel different each time because of that, and it's it's a super super good game. Yeah. So that was your number thirteen. Yeah. I, 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 it's weird. It, you seem like you explain on a lot of games like all the time. It's super <laughs> weird. It's you're so good at it. Yeah. You are getting better. Yeah. Thank you. You are really like yeah yeah. You, you just gave up in the beginning. Yeah, I did. Like the first couple of videos, if you go and look at them, you know the first one where it's an over and speaking because I had to explain other games, but that was because you didn't want to explain other yep. games. And you, so that is getting better. I'm so, getting better. Uh, you, it's getting better all the time. Uh, so number 13. Yep. What are you looking at my I'm list? Not, I didn't look at all. Did you look at my list? No, I didn't. Okay, so I didn't look over there. Did you see it? No. Okay. So my number 13 then is... What is my number 13? I have no idea. I know. You see my list. No, I haven't. Tell me what my number 13 is. Your handwriting is. is so ugly. I can't read it. <laughs> <laughs> my number 13 is a game by the same designer of one of the games you just talked about. Wow. So it's a new game to the list. It is called Maracaibo. Oh, cool. It was my favorite game from last year. It's still my favorite game from last year. Cooper Island and Maracaibo is really up there. 25 for me. So Cooper Island is now your number one, right? From yeah, from and Tainted Grey, my number two. Oh yeah, because that was also over Maracaibo. Uh, uh, oh, okay. In 24, so 25 and 24. Yeah, but Maracaibo and Cooper Island is really like, it, uh, it's higher here. Uh, it's quite a bit higher because it's still like one of it's more... Uh, when I made this list, I hadn't played Cooper Island again, so it might have... Cooper Island might have jumped mm. on the list now. But, but Maracaibo is a really great game. We just did a playthrough of it, so you can go and watch that. It's much easier to get to the table because oh, this yeah. is a cozy game. Cooper yeah. Island is uh, Cooper Island doesn't last that much longer, but it's tougher to get into. And your brain gets destroyed when yeah. you play it. Yeah, if I'm like a little tired in the evening, let's play a game. I would never choose <laughs> Cooper Island. No, I don't think we would. But but both of them are great. And my number thirteen then is Maracaibo. Yeah. So, oh, wrong list again. Um, <laughs> my number 12 is also, this is... It's like, also Maracaibo. No, it's not. <laughs> that would be weird. Yeah. It was in my number 9 last time. So wow, it has there's fallen. a lot of new games in your number 10. No, it isn't. But yeah. But there has to be like this 3, 4, like new in the top 10. I don't mean there's new games, but they're like the, the top 10 is a lot different from last time. There's some. I will get to that later. Um, but yeah. But it has to be because you have like either three or four in this video that was in the Two. Top. Okay. So no, it's... yeah, yeah, three. So it is so at least Tolkien, three. a piece for Odin and a terraform terraforming Mars. Uh -huh. We just did the stream of this. This is a superb game. Mm -hmm. I really like it. I I think it's really cool that it added all these expansions. We mm -hmm. only uh, play with the preload though, but we love the extra maps. Yes. With the different, um, what do you call it? It's achievements and... Yes, achievements and the milestones. Yes. So I think that's a really cool addition. And also it just feels different every time because you you get so many cards. So mm -hmm. it's kind of impossible to do the same each time. <laughs> yeah, but we have played it 18 times now. So, so it's going to be mm -hmm. like... So it's a card-driven game. card right driven card yeah. game, yeah. So you're building things on Mars and mm -hmm. trying to get these synergies going and mm -hmm. your production up to produce things that you 
want to produce, yeah. <laughs> and you're basically aiming for this tree, uh, kind of, what do you call it? I don't remember. Yeah. Things that you need to do to, to make life on Mars possible. Yeah, so you need to put up the temperature, the oxygen, and, and, and put out some water. water. Yeah. You have yeah, you need those three things to, 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 to make Mars livable. And when all of those are maxed out, the game is gonna end. Yeah, so that is one way to get points, but you can get points in other ways mm -hmm. too, like doing a germ, you no, know, what do you call it? Germ. Animal. Microbes and yeah, animals um, and all of that. Strategy, stuff. yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. I like it. I like it. It's not in the top 50. Yeah, it was. It was my number 50. Yeah. It was in my number 50. <laughs> I kind of have a, you know what I feel about this game. Go and see that. I have a hate love relationship with it. But most right of the time. Right now, you hate it. Most of the time. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Most, most of the time, I actually like it quite a bit. So my number 12 then. Oh, there's only two more games. Yeah. My number 12 then was my number 10 the last time. So it's Suburbia. Cool. This is one I will always like. It's one that might be this high because of nostalgia, but it's still a game I really, really enjoy. A game I I will always enjoy playing, especially with two players, three players. I like the new version quite a bit. It's a great with game. Me. It was your number 48. Yeah. So yeah, an amazing city building game, great theme. Uh, everything makes sense. All of the different adjacency bonuses make sense, like the the uh, you don't want the dump next to your living quarters and all of that. So it's a really, really great living game quarters. that I love. Yeah, so that's Suburbia. I like it as well. So the last one for this list. This is the first game, I think, I think it's the first game that has stayed at exactly the same spot <laughs> as last time. That's cool. Uh, like exactly. Yeah, I think so. Uh -huh. It's the first game. Um, it's Lignum. So it was my number 11 last time too. And it's just rock solid. And it's like a heavy 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 rock it's so heavy and it makes your brain explode so this is also a one-way street uh, kind of game where you want to cut uh, no find uh, chop lumber wood <laughs> i'm trying to pick the right words Words. because you're sawing it later mm -hmm. you're first like ch chopping the trees down and then you're transporting it to your saw guy, if you have any, because you have to get your them. Your sawmill. Sawmill, yeah, thank you. But you have to have these saw guys. A sawyer. Saw dudes. A sawyer. Oh yeah, yeah, that is what it's called. <laughs> to saw them into these tiny, tiny... Logs. I'm, I'm really good at explaining games. You're just games. saying things now. But <laughs> yeah, it's a heavy game where you... What to get points? <laughs> I'm sorry, I've tried you guys. <laughs> That's the best explanation of a game ever. Yeah. But it makes sense. Basically, you are you are running a sawmill and you want to. And like you're the, doing that. The the one way street is basically preparing for everything you want to do. Yeah. So you need to hire in workforces for different things, like a sawyer. Thank you, you need um, sauce. You need uh, carriers. I don't remember the name thing that would carry them. And you need loggers that will cut down the trees. And then you try and you have it kind of like this bid for different places where the wood go, which is really interesting. And there's just so much stuff going on and you cannot do it all and you will fail horribly at most of it. And then there's winter, which is just horribly hard and it doesn't like you. And it's a fantastic game. Yeah. And then you can also plan work. So you have something to plan for and yeah. then you have more that you desperately need to get, mm -hmm. but you can't do it. Yes. So this is a fun game. It's super, super, super good. It it's is. My number 11. So my number 11 is going to be quick because it's another list top and uh, list crossover. It was my number 24 last time. Uh, it has gotten an expansion since that. Hmm. Let me guess. It's a uh, Great Western Trail. It is Great Western what? Trail. It's yeah. not Bad Eastern Road. Uh, yeah. <laughs> was that your hinting for it last time? When no, I, that's just something I said right now. Yeah. So it's Great Western Trail. You already talked about it. I like it a bit better. It's a really, really fun game with the herding of the only different cows and people will get cows for free if they are the same ones. Yes. A fantastic game, even better with the expansion. And I think Morton likes it now because it's his favorite game. He's just a friend, so we just talked about him. I don't know why. Or I did. It's a good Shout game. Shout out to Morton. Shout out to Morton for being cool. <laughs> okay, so that's the end. Yeah, it is. Of another video. So we hope you enjoyed it. The next one will then be coming in a week. Looking week's at my top time. 10. It's over here. 
it's a lot of great games. Hopefully. It will be something like this are my least favorite games in the world. Yeah. So that's the end of the video, right? It is. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Senua. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings, and bye-bye.